Hi, my name is Ryan Barber. This is One in One with Hotel Pond. Welcome to the barber shop. Give us a little bit about your background and tell us where you came to be where you're at now. So, started 10th grade, high school, graphics class. We all skated and surfed and, you know, in that class we were able to print t-shirts and vinyl stickers and all that. So, growing up in Mandarin, we were kind of far from the beaches, so I mean, we'd, we'd have to kind of bootleg our shirts, you know? So, Square One Skate Shop just opened up and we were, we couldn't really get out here, so we started just, you know, making our own bootleg Square One Skate Shop shirts in high school. So that was like 90... Graduated in 03, so it was like, kind of like 01, 02. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. 01, 02. Because, you know, whenever we'd make it out to the beach, like, you know, Zero was a skateboarding brand and it would just have a white zero across the chest uh -huh. with a hanging BPT tag. Uh -huh. So we're like, why are we paying like with 20 the tags, bucks? With the tag still in. Yeah, well, yeah, people didn't like Cut replace tag tag. tags back yeah. then, you know, so. So just kind of wanted to make our own. So, I, you know, we'd make all our own lost shirts and we'd make our own, you know, like I said, square one skate shop shirts. And that was, yeah, 10th grade, so. So you were making shirts for you and your buddies but you were... I started my own little clothing company. It's called like Horizon Clothing. Okay. And um, yeah, I just like printed school, and sold them around school and kind of like fell in love with like, you know, the process of printing. And yeah, it was just nice, man. It was a fun little, fun little starting background, learning about printing. It's kind of where it took me from high school. And when I started to get more established, Pete and this guy Mike bought Square One from Edwin and right. Albert. Yeah, so then I started printing the Square One. So it was like a big, like you know, personal goal of mine to actually like from bootleg to like doing their shop tees. Yeah, real like doing their shop tees. So. And when did you move out here to the beach? Uh, UNF. So after high school, um, I wanted to keep printing. So my dad helped me get like a one station, four color, uh, you know, silk screen set up. So then I, from FSU, we were printing a lot in Tallahassee. And then kind of kept it going strong. And then, you know, you know how Tallahassee can be. So I kind of like was looking forward to the change, moving back, getting closer to the beach. So transferred to UNF, brought the printing stuff with me and just, you know, kept printing. And from UNF, they had printmaking as a major it just started to kind of fine-tune like the fine art side of things so instead of like I was used to t-shirts you know and the whole paper printing side of things and the woodblock carving that was all like super new and it was actually like really exciting that like because I didn't know any of that existed just moved back here I guess it was like 08 and just kept printing out of my house like I actually slept in my print shop next door to your house Ryan yeah when I lived there I used to have a futon like right here and I used to print and then sleep and print and sleep so I like lived in my print shop for a where long time. Where in the house did you have the print shop? In, in the back room. In the back room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah because like there were like five guys living in that house at the time. Like, yeah I remember you told me one yeah. of them was like sleeping in a hammock. Two in the hammock in the living room. Two of them. Two upstairs and then I had the back room. You and know. JP was one of them too. Right? Yeah JP was on the hammock. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. He seems like a hammock guy. Yeah and he's totally a hammock guy. <laughs> So you do woodblock printing, 
you do print on paper, print on tees. You can do it all, and you love the process. Right. I know that certain things are paid jobs and certain things might be passion projects. What do you like to do the best? Is it all the same to you because you love the process? Are there certain brands that you like to do their work more than others? Does it matter? I mean, yeah, I mean, you obviously get those, like, quick little, like, wedding job gigs and stuff, which are fine, but, you know, I guess I enjoy working with, you know, like, the Block Skate Shop for, you know, you guys, Hotel Palms. It's just kind of nice where it's, like, I get to help you guys out. You know, Rev Brewing Company. I did, like, Native Sun shirts one time and Bold Bean Coffee. So it's just nice to kind of, like, help the local, you know, environment out and so and I do love back the, into the community. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I love seeing my shirts. I think you got to love that. Yeah, man. And and I think when I was still doing my own barbershop label, which I still kind of like print some shirts for friends and stuff. Uh -huh. But uh, one of my friends found one at Goodwill, so I feel like if you find your shirt at Goodwill, you kind of made it. You know, it's like a big full circle. Yeah, with the old That's, clothing company I was telling you about a little bit before when we were talking. Every once in a while I'll see someone random, I have no idea, maybe like a random old dude or whatever, wearing a shirt that I know I made by hand. Exactly. And, you know, I only had to ask a question a couple times to when I knew what the answer was all the time. Like, I got that at Goodwill. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's like, man, if if you get into Goodwill yeah. and someone buys your stuff, man, it's like a, that was like an exciting moment for me. Yeah, absolutely. The cool Florida house here, quite the setup. Tell us a little bit about the different zones you've got around here. So e everywhere I look is kind of something you can do with your hands or something right. you can ride or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, this would be like, you know, the print shop right here. This is the most efficient shop I've had of all my years of going in like rental spaces, garages, sleeping next to chemicals. So this is kind of nice. It's like everything, this is like what I would, you know, it's like my perfect setup here. Got another shed over there. It's like my pottery surfboard room. So I dabble in some pottery. Not good, but it's fun working with the hands, you know? And, um, you know, chicken. I just like being outside. I consider myself like solar powered, I guess. I'm outside until it's dark. And, you know, it's gonna be hard to get me in when it's, you know, I just keep moving, you know? Yeah, just from following you on your social media accounts and seeing just how much you're getting after it with your wife and your daughter and it seems your extended family, who I maybe have met a few of them briefly, but not so much. Mm -hmm. But it just seems you're always at the beach or you're camping or... Gotta keep moving, man. Something. Yeah, we have a couple camping trips this summer, which will be nice, up in the mountains. Yeah, man, I mean, Florida's pretty cool place to live if you take advantage of it Jacksonville especially you know it's like I feel like Jacksonville things don't find you you kind of have to find the things in Jacksonville if people come and go and there's like well you know I don't really know what to do it's like you know you give them a couple things and pretty much you just have to accept the heat and enjoy it you know cause, embrace it yeah and yeah. then you go to some springs next week so yeah it'll be good